still pretty cold. Damn it, dude. That whole thing is ice immediately. So this was not the video that I was gonna make today. I had a, a solar job and kind of a interesting house to do. But this is more of a video of how everything can go to shit in a handbasket real freaking quick. Um, nothing bad came from the day, but I'll, I'm going to tell you about this day because I want you to know that it happens to all of us no matter how long you've been cleaning. You're going to have days that go to complete shit and there's just nothing you can do. I was out for eight hours today you know how much i made today 100 bucks why because one of my jobs i just couldn't collect for by the end of it um so here's what happened i even filmed a little bit through this day i'll show you some b-roll but so i got a call on saturday about a house that needed to be cleaned and they had pictures they were supposed to happen today at 11 30 11 30 a.m and so when I looked at the weather, of course it's winter, the house definitely had to be used to water fed pole. There was no other way to do it. Um, they had a big sunroom, which I'll show you. And um, there's just no other way to do it. Anyways, today's Monday, last night, Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. And last night it starts to get windy, starts to get pretty cold. And I start looking at the weather and it's like, man, it was like, it was almost in the single digits last night or in the teens. Wake up in the morning and it wasn't supposed to be like this, but it was kind of like lightly, lightly snowing. And I thought to myself, well, let me look at the weather, see what it's like. Shows it at like 32 degrees by like 9 a.m. So I'm thinking, okay, should be fine. 32 degrees in the area that I'm going. So there was part of me that was saying, hmm, maybe I should just go ahead and cancel. But I have no other time than for today to get this job done i knew the person was getting pictures done and i wanted to get it done and i don't really like calling off jobs i don't i don't like doing that so anyways i i go to the job i set up everything water fed pole now get this it's only 19 degrees <laughs> at that point i should have called it but it kept saying that it was going to get better that it was going to be like 32 that it was going to get to 44 degrees down in boulder today um that never happened so anyways so we get everything all set up and literally i've never had this happen i've never had it be so cold that the second i got the hoses out and started running water through them boom they froze the only thing that didn't freeze was my zero pier because I kept water going through it the whole time. But if I literally disconnected the hose, went and did something with like in 30 seconds, that whole hose line was frozen. It wasn't only because of how cold it was. There was also wind that was coming and it was just like, oh my freaking gosh. So I, I sit there and I try to have everything in the sun. I take out my second hose, hook that up, see if I can get water through that. Because at the time there was enough sun on the windows that I could have done it. If I had water flow, I could have done it and it could have dried fine. It would have been fine, but it just turned into, uh, at that point it was about got there at nine by 10 30. I was still, still messing around with this stuff. And I had another solar job to do today. Um, just like a hundred dollar solar panel job today real quick. So I said to the lady, the lady was super, super nice and super understanding the whole time. I said to her, you know what? I'm going to have to just come back later on. I'll definitely come today. She says, that's fine. I'm going to call the realtor and tell him to hold off pictures until tomorrow. I said, great. I mean, by what the weather's saying, it should be 45 by noon and I should be able to come back. We should be able to get it done. No problem. Right? So I go down. It's still 19 degrees. Drive down to Boulder, go get some coffee and, um, 
sit in a parking lot for about an hour just heating up everything i've got my hose reel in the front heating up uh, to try to warm it down um, just everything was frozen so then i go to the solar panel job that works out okay i'm able to put the zero pure in the sun it's still at that time 21 degrees and it's like 11 30 just you know you can never trust the meteorologist right so then after that i get the solar panel job done that goes great um guy's super happy so i'm like great like nothing happened there bad i should be able to go back up to the mountains and when i say the mountains this is like not high up in the mountains like 10 minutes into the mountains of boulder so i go go back up there and get everything set up i go up to the roof and start doing the top of the roof by that point half of the roof is in the shade half the roof is in the sun Everything I do that's in the shade freezes immediately, immediately. I, I've washed windows with the water fed pole and had it freeze, but I've at least been able to scrub the window, rinse it all down and have it freeze a little bit, but I've never ever had it be this bad. At this point, I say to myself, there's no freaking way that this is, that this is gonna happen. There's just no freaking way. But anyways, I knew that the main thing the lady wanted was this sunroom so they could take this one picture that was literally like the big thing but when i got there she said well if you can do the outside of everything else that would be awesome so I was like yeah it's a big house good size ticket right by the end of the job and it would only took me like two hours to do the house so anyways oh man i get everything set up i try to do that roof it freezes i said all right screw the roof what I'm gonna do is just get all the side stuff done because they're not gonna take a picture going straight up in the roof. And she told me that too. She goes, if you if you can at least get this stuff done, that would be awesome. I said, yeah, great. Once again, everything that wasn't in the sun froze. Um, and then at a certain point, I needed to switch my hosing from one side of the house to the other side of the house. So I go, take my hosing, go to the other side of the house, bring it back around, hook it up, and I don't know what happened during that time, but literally in my zero hose, my 5 16th hose inside of the pole froze up into the univalve within like two minutes. I mean, this is how cold it was. I look at my brush set up, whole thing's frozen. So I literally, for the next 30 minutes, this is like 1.45. I go over, put everything in the sun, I even hook up my little quick connect with my 5 16th connector to their hose and push water through and I can't even get water to come through the 5 16th hose. So I'm like, oh man. So I hook it up again, I cut the univalve out and I say, okay, I'm gonna run the line externally and not worry about the univalve. And so I bring it over to the sun, I have everything and finally the icicles come out the end of the line and boom, okay, we got flow, <laughs> we're ready to go. We're not ready to go. I get to the side that was sunny in the morning. Of course, now it's shaded. Uh, we're still sitting at, gosh, man, how cold is it even right now? It was still right now it's 28 degrees. It never, ever got to 32 degrees today. So I get to that side and boom, it's just like, I can't even rinse the frame and go to the other window and let the frame strip or else the whole window frozen. So at this point, I start thinking, okay, now it's to the point where no matter what I do, this could turn into a big time accident as far as it freezing, um, not having enough time to melt, and then boom, it freezes all night, the sun hits it in the morning, crack. I don't want that to happen. So I do one of their vinyl windows, vinyl framed windows, and it just freezes. And at this point, I just said to myself, this is just not going to work. I mean, my whole Boris airbrush, frozen. When I touch it on the glass, it just sounds like icicles scratching the glass. Um, just horrible, 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 horrible day. So I tell the lady, and th th sometimes you just got to do this. And I didn't have a 28-foot ladder. If I had a 28-foot ladder, I could have finished it, but I didn't. I didn't think I was going to need it. I didn't have any windshield washing fluid because I never planned to use my squeegee today, which I never did. Um, and then, so I just went to the lady. And this is sometimes what you just got to do. 
I, I just said to her, I said, you know what? I said, this isn't going to happen today. Like, I'm sorry. And I have another job tomorrow and I have a small surgery that I'm having Wednesday and I'm going to be out for a week and I'm scheduled up from then. Luckily, the lady was so nice and she just said, do not worry about it. It's fine. She goes, call me when it gets warmer and I would love for you to come clean the windows. And I think she was nice because I just communicated with her the whole time. I didn't bother her, but I only told her the important things. And I just said to her, I said, listen, I said, it's going to, and she goes, well, can you just like hose off all the windows? And I said, no, I can't, can't hose off the windows. What it's going to do, it's going to freeze. And you have so many windows, three levels of windows. It's just not, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Um, it's just not. So she was happy though, because they're, they're going to be able to get the picture they want. But goal of this story is. No matter how long you clean windows or if you're a newbie or whatever, these veterans know, people who've been doing this for a long time know that sometimes you just, um, you know, you win some, you lose some. That's, that's the point of the story. And sometimes you just, you just have to give up, not give up, but I never charged her. I just said to her, I said, you know what? Like I should have known better. I should have not done this today as far as with the temperature and I apologize that I even really wasted your time but she was really happy that the one area that she had to take the picture was done but you know one of the things I always want to talk more about on this channel was some of the bad things that happened and this was probably <laughs> this was probably the worst day I've had in years as far as just every single thing went wrong I mean everything froze every single thing froze except for my zero pier I had to cut out my univalve out of my line. Um, oh my gosh, it was just horrible. But I, I feel like it's important to share this story, especially to you newbies who watch this channel. And just know that no matter what, no matter what, things are going to happen your whole entire career. And, um, you know, it just is what it is. And uh, yeah, it just is what it is. But. That was my point in sharing the story, not to make you depressed, I hope, but just look at these things as a learning experience. Look at these things as a learning experience. So my new rule is unless I know or wake up and it's already 32 degrees, there is no water fed pole for that day. That is my new rule. That is my new rule that I am doing. And, um, you know, and especially as a new company, you know, you kind of want to take on everything you can get within reason. And so that's what, you know, I did hear and try to help somebody, but exhausted, exhausted from that day. So anyways, um, that's, that's the video. I, I was going to cool, film a cool video and every time I wanted to film something else bad happened, but goal of the story, you win some, you lose some hope y'all learn something from this. I'm not sure what you will learn from it other than just keep your head up, move on, forget about it. Don't worry about it and uh on to the next one all right peace out goodbye